Imagine if a battery can run for more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, that too without being affected by cold, heat, or rough roads. This is not a dream. This is the reality of Toyota's new solid-state battery, which has created a stir in the entire EV industry. On one hand, Elon Musk and Tesla were making claims about their 4,680 cells, while on the other hand, Toyota was quietly writing history. Now, when its prototype came in front of everyone, Elon Musk himself was surprised because Tesla's 4,680 battery is nowhere in front of this technology. This is not just a battery, it is a revolution that can solve all three major issues of EVs like range, charging time, and battery life in one go. Toyota's battery research division is now active not only in Japan, but also in the US and Germany. The company has publicly said that it will start mass production with solid-state batteries by 2027 or 2028. The most interesting thing about this new journey of Toyota is that while other companies have either got tired or are retreating after entering the EV market, Toyota is now entering quietly but is going to make a big bang in terms of both technology and scalability. Look, most of the electric vehicles running today use lithium-ion batteries. These batteries have been in vogue for the last several years and are used in everything from smartphones to laptops, scooters, and cars. But there is a big weakness in them. These batteries are a little fragile from inside. Why? Because they contain liquid electrolyte. This is a liquid that carries lithium ions from one electrode to another inside the battery. Now when this liquid gets heated for some reason, leaks, or comes under high pressure, the battery may explode, catch fire, or get damaged. You must have heard in the news many times that the battery in an EV exploded or the phone was on charging and burned. At the root of this are these old liquid-based batteries. Solid-state battery is a very simple and sure solution to this problem. In this new technology, solid material is used inside the battery instead of liquid electrolyte. That is, the thing that moves the ions around inside is no longer a liquid but a solid thing like a special kind of ceramic polymer or solid material like glass. On the other hand, Tesla's 4,680 battery still gives a range of about 600 to 700 kilometers and takes 25 to 30 minutes to charge, that too, with a fast charger. The most special thing about solid-state battery is that it does not contain liquid electrolyte due to which incidents like fire or overheating do not occur. Tesla's 4,680 still has liquid-based electrolyte due to which the safety risk is not completely eliminated. Now, Talking about the battery life, Toyota's solid-state battery does not show any drop in performance even after thousands of charging cycles, while the performance of 4,680 batteries starts falling a little with time. Apart from this, solid-state batteries give the same efficiency in every weather, whether it is minus 20 degrees snowfall or 50 degrees heat. On the other hand, 4,680 cells need protection in very cold or very hot places, which can affect the long-term performance of the battery. If Tesla does not introduce any new battery innovation in time, then companies like Toyota with solid-state batteries can overtake it. Now it will be interesting to see what steps Elon Musk takes next. Will he start working on solid-state? Or will he bring some completely new technology that changes the game again? But with the advent of solid-state batteries, this problem is going to end automatically. Because the most special thing about these batteries is that they get fully charged in just 10 to 15 minutes. And once fully charged, they can run for 1,000 miles, that is about 1,600 kilometers. Now think, when a vehicle can travel such a long distance, then what will be the need for a charging station every 100 to 200 kilometers? This will reduce the heavy pressure on governments and companies to create charging infrastructure to a great extent. Till now, the EV industry was forced to build large, fast-charging networks because the batteries either charged slowly or could not run for long distances in one go. But solid-state batteries solve both these problems together. Now, if someone stops at a charging station for even 10 minutes, his car can run for a whole week instead of a day. This means that charging stations will no longer be needed in every street and locality like before. Rather, a smaller number will suffice. This will make EV infrastructure cheaper and easier and the use of EVs will increase even in rural or remote areas. Apart from this, one very big and important thing that solid-state batteries are changing is safety. Most of the current EV batteries are based on lithium-ion technology, which contains liquid electrolyte inside. This liquid can react when there is excessive heat, shock, or physical damage which can lead to a fire or battery explosion. You must have read in the news that some EV scooters or cars caught fire, and this fear became the biggest reason to keep people away from EVs. 
but such a risk is almost negligible in solid-state batteries because, instead of liquid, it contains a special kind of solid material that resists heat and controls chemical reactions. This means that EVs will now become many times safer than before. Not only will the common people feel attracted towards EVs, but insurance companies, government regulatory agencies, and the transport sector will also accept EVs more openly. From the fire department to road safety agencies, no one will have to worry much about EV safety. Now it is also worth noting that solid-state batteries are more compact and lightweight, which reduces the weight of the vehicle and improves its performance and efficiency. So, it is clear that solid-state is not just a battery technology, it can become the backbone of the EV world. On one hand, this will reduce the need for charging stations, and on the other hand, power consumption and load will also remain under control because the charging time will be short. On the other hand, it will also get rid of accidents like fire and people's trust in EVs will become stronger. So, you will be happy to know that Toyota itself has announced that it is preparing to bring this solid-state battery to the market by the year 2027 or 2028. That is, the day is not far when we will see EV cars running on the roads that charge in 10 minutes and run for 1,000 miles. Currently, this battery is in the prototype stage, and Toyota is preparing infrastructure all over the world for its large-scale production. Actually, the manufacturing of solid-state batteries is quite different from the current lithium-ion batteries, so it requires a completely new factory, new robots, and a high-tech production process. For this reason, Toyota is now converting its plants into gigafactory style. Just like Tesla set up its huge gigapress and battery cell production units, the company is building special battery plants in Japan, America, and Europe that will make only solid-state batteries. The material, machines, and automation used in them will all be new and advanced. Now, if we talk about which vehicles Toyota will use this battery in first, then the company strategy is that it will start with its premium segment. That is, the solid-state battery can first be seen in high-end electric cars like Lexus, so that the company can test the technology in low volume and collect real-world data. After this, as the production cost decreases and the system becomes stronger, Toyota will also start installing it in its BZ series, that is, beyond zero-mass EV cars. With this, this powerful battery will also be seen in mid-range vehicles, which will be a big deal for common customers. Toyota's aim is not just to make a premium EV, but to make an electric car that competes with petrol and diesel vehicles on every front, range, charging time, safety, and reliability. The company's strategy is very clear. First, test the technology in high-end vehicles, then launch it on a large scale and reach every customer. For this entire mission, Toyota has invested more than $13 billion, which includes battery research, factory building, and supply chain development. The company's engineers say that with the rapid progress in the production of solid-state batteries, it is expected that by 2028 its cost will also decrease and it can be equal to or cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. And if this happens, it will prove to be a game-changer for the EV market. Toyota has also said that it is not dependent on any one country or team for battery research. Apart from Japan, its special teams are also working in America and Germany, which are engaged in making solid-state batteries more durable, cheaper, and faster. The company's focus is not just on making batteries, but it is creating a complete EV ecosystem that covers everything from battery to charging system, motor, and electronic control. The impact of solid-state batteries extends far beyond just vehicles. Imagine a world where emergency response vehicles, long-haul trucks, and even electric aircraft can operate with unprecedented efficiency and safety. The reduced weight and increased energy density mean electric planes could finally become viable for short- to medium-haul flights, revolutionizing the aviation industry. Even in renewable energy storage, solid-state batteries could be a breakthrough. Solar and wind farms often struggle with inconsistent energy production, requiring massive lithium-ion battery banks to store excess power. Solid-state systems with their longer lifespan and faster charging could make renewable energy grids far more reliable and cost-effective. This isn't just about cars, it's about reshaping global energy infrastructure. Meanwhile, Tesla isn't sitting idle. Rumors suggest they're accelerating work on their own next-gen batteries, possibly a hybrid approach combining silicon anode technology with semi-solid electrolytes. But Toyota's head start in solid state gives them a critical advantage. Industry analysts predict that whoever commercializes this technology first will dominate the next decade of EV sales. 
The ripple effects will be enormous. Oil markets may face disruption earlier than expected. Countries investing heavily in lithium mining might need to pivot as new materials like sulfides or oxides become key for solid-state production. Even geopolitics could shift if energy independence becomes easier to achieve with ultra-efficient EVs and storage. For consumers, the benefits are clear. Cars that charge in minutes, last longer, and never risk fiery accidents. But the real winner? The planet. Faster EV adoption means drastic cuts in emissions. If Toyota delivers on its promises, we might look back at 2027 as the year electric vehicles truly went mainstream. Not as compromises, but as superior machines in every way. The race is on. Will Tesla counter with a surprise? Can other automakers like BMW or Ford fast-track their own solid-state programs? One thing's certain, the EV revolution just entered its most exciting phase. Buckle up. Now, when such a big preparation is going on, it would not be wrong to say that Toyota is not just making EVs, it is shaping the future of EVs. And when Toyota's first production vehicle with solid-state battery hits the roads in 2027 or 2028, it will not be just a new car. It will be proof that the world has now reached that point of EV technology where petrol and diesel have no future. That day, it will also become clear that only those companies that understand innovation in time will be able to survive, and Toyota is running in this race with full preparation. Therefore, it is important that Tesla now takes some big steps on its battery tech so that it can be seen at the forefront of the race again. If you also want to get such latest tech and EV updates first, then like the video and subscribe to the channel now so that the future does not remain one step behind. Thank you.